Hello, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a new episode of the FIFA 20 Ultimate Team. Road to glory. Finger points to the sky, as always. The 297th time I've done that, this FIFA. I think I was doing it last year as well, wasn't I? Um, but yeah, guys, welcome to a new episode here today on this fine Saturday. If you do enjoy... Do me the best favor you could do, which is smashing that thumbs up button. Keep supporting the series. Thank you so much. I love you guys. And, of course, subscribe as well if you are new around here. So uh, anyone that missed yesterday's episode knows that this is roughly the team I put together. Uh, I don't know why it's back in the 4-3-1-2. Like, I, I had it in the 4 one 2 one 2 2 that's all the twos. Um, but yeah, I don't know why I've moved it back to 4-3-1-2. I must have been trying something else out different and, and, and I've moved it back to the wrong one. So uh, when we go into our first weekend league game today, my players were kind of all over the place. So I had to switch them up. But for the first sort of like half of this episode, uh, I wanted to use all of that lovely like bottom feeder fodder. Uh, that I have, so like the gold rares that are not very high rated, uh, and the non-rare golds and the bronzes and stuff in my club, to complete a bunch of 82 to 88, and a bunch of 81 plus double upgrades. So with that, we're going to be getting ourselves, hopefully, some half-decent fodder. Um, so that's that's ideal, that would be ideal. We're sitting at over 900,000 coins. It's over 9, it's over 9,000 is the quote, but we're over 900,000. Even better. Um, but yeah, so as you can see there, I think I actually got 10 of the 82 to 88s, and then I could only get 7 of the 81 plus doubles. But I could probably make a few more of them now uh, after like getting some rubbish in some of these packs. But essentially, I wanted to do this because like, I know that these SBCs are absolutely great at turning your absolute nothingness players into some kind of high-rated fodder. You will get some bad packs and you will get some pretty good ones like we got an 84 rated Usman Dembele there that will be a decent player to use in an SBC I mean it might even be decent to use in an Usman Dembele SBC if he wins the vote and comes out tonight is it tonight oh god if, it, if it's tonight my team might possibly change for the next episode or the next couple of episodes we'll see um but yeah we obviously now got Frank Ribery actually we'll talk about him later on in the episode because I'll go through that later on uh, but there's another good fodder player popping up there. It is 85 Lopez. And, and that's exactly what I want to see. From the 82 to 88s, I realize it's not going to be an 88 every time. You might not even get one. But it won't all be 82s. I actually, I would say that I actually got quite unlucky in my 82 to 88s today. There's a few in a row here which really aren't that great. But because they cost four bronze players and seven non-rare golds... It really doesn't matter. Like, and, and they are minimum 82 rated. Well, if you think about it, if you're putting like an 86 squad in, like for a requirement, and you use one of those like 95 rated TOTS players that you've got set in your club, well, actually, some 82s, they're still useful to go into the SBC. So, um, yeah, although there's a bit of a dry spell here for the final few 82 to 88s, uh, it, it doesn't, it really doesn't matter. Like, as long as they're not duplicate untradeables, which fortunately for me, none of them were, even these last two here where we get a couple of uh, duplicates, it turns out that they were uh, were, were actually, uh, the, the other ones were tradable. So I could just stick them onto the transfer list and I'll deal with them in due course. So we're now on to the 81 plus doubles. It didn't start off very well for me. Uh, but pack number two rolls around here. We're going to get just get boards this time. But hey, it is at least boards, right? Uh, so we get a German center forward. I think that might be the worst board you can get. Typically, Max Cruiser is uh, always about the cheapest 83 on the game for me. It always seems to be the case. So, uh, yeah, not a great start. If we're going to get boards, it needs to be slightly higher than that. Uh, next pack rolls around. And we're going to get a Libertadores uh, walkout. And it's Argentine striker, once again, from Racing Club. We, we packed this guy the other day, didn't we, in Squad Battles Rewards. It's a 91-rated Lissandro Lopez. That's great. Like, that right there is actually better than the ratings that I got from my red player picks this week. Uh, and there's a special card in there. There's always a Limbombe, everyone. Can you remember when we got him from... Um, what are we getting from the... Was it the first uh, Party Bag SBC or something? I don't know. I was I was upset. Whenever we got him, or maybe it was just guaranteed winter refresh. We got Limbombe, and it was a, a sad times. Um, but yeah, I'll also take like an 83 rated Jorginho. Like, uh, I know that that'll be useful. I know that I'll have some Chelsea player somewhere where that links. 
Uh, I think this is a team of the week walkout. Spanish uh, centre back. I think at this point in time it might have, it could have possibly been Ramos, or was that last week when he had an inform? I can't really remember if I'm honest, but it was an 85 Raul Albiol, uh, which is again good fodder. Knowing that we've actually got that 88 rated PK in the club, uh, an 85 when you need. What is this? What has just happened? That was pretty much my reaction when that happened. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> we got a 96 rated Lewandowski out of nowhere. Uh, and because he's a headliner, it does the glitch where it doesn't go all the way through the boards. But I was kind of blown away by that. We actually got a 96 Lewandowski. That's ridiculous. That, that, him and, um, and the 91 rated Lopez... Like, if you'd have swapped it around and I'd have got a 91 and a 96 in red, and then I would have got, what do we get in, in red, actually? We got an 87 and an 89. And if I'd have got an 87 and an 89 in these, I would have still been really happy with, like, my rewards and my upgrade packs this week. So, um, absolute scenes. Complete and utter W here today, getting a 96 Lewandowski. That is ridiculous. Will I use him? I don't know. I probably wouldn't. Like, I don't know. He does look quite good. Um, but there's a, there's a chance I could use him. I've got Muller, I've got Perisic, I've got you know I've got some some pretty nice Bundesliga players. Um, but right now my sole focus is on these cool Prem players and then the Serie A guys. That is Latan Ibrahimovic. Like I, there's nothing I want to do more uh, on this game right now than get into game with him and see how good he is. So that's where we're going to move to now. We need to start off our weekend league. Um, and this is the first opponent that I come up against. He's a grinder because he's got 94 Bruno and he's got 93 Mendy uh, and a really, really nice team. So uh, I thought, oh man, that's quite unlucky to come up against first game. I'm not warmed up or anything. I'm probably going to get demolished and uh, we're going to go naught and one. But will I really care? Well, if I have a little bit of fun with Zlatan along the way, maybe I'll, uh, I'll, I'll look past it and we won't be too bothered. Um... But it turns out, I could just tell after like the first 10 minutes or so, after how many opportunities that I'd had, uh, I, you know, I blundered them and I missed a lot of them. And then you could put that down to first game rustiness. Um, but I could just tell with the amount of opportunities that I was creating that this guy wasn't great and that I was probably going to come away with the win here as long as I don't do anything completely stupid. But you can even see it visually, like my decision making was really poor um, in a lot of these passes and shots and stuff. But I was also a little bit unlucky with hitting the post and the goalkeeper saving quite a lot. But um, I mean, even that, like right there. Oh, God, come on, man. I need to be doing better. I need to show off Zlatan in a much better light because uh, I know he's going to be good. But we get through with him right here and he starts to rush the goalie. So without even taking another touch, uh, I just chip it straight over the goalkeeper. And that is his first goal for the club. And that's why I've not just completely skipped it. I ran up to the camera. I then skipped it straight after. Um, but yeah, we, uh, we like to just uh, acknowledge our first goal for the club. Um, welcome Zlatan. I, I, you are the player I have been waiting for. I'm telling you. Uh, and he's, as you can see here, he sort of is quick enough to to make the defenders think that he's going to keep running, and then you just throw a little Berber spin in there, and uh, and and you're away. So, I mean, we, I guess I'll give a little mini review on him in uh, towards the end of the episode once we've played more than one half of FIFA. Uh, but Ronaldinho as well, the, this loan that we're using is also pretty spicy. He's, he's a fun little player on the ball, that's for sure. I haven't been able to get much in the, in the name of, um, like, goals and contributions with him just yet. But um, I think it might be because I am kind of... That, that ball is heading directly towards... Ibrahimovic every single time that I can get it to him uh, because I just I really want to be on the ball with Zlatan It's as simple as that. I've been having a lot of fun uh, So I get a 2-0 rage quit. It's a weird rage quit as well I guess he dashboarded as I well unless he got disconnected. I don't think so though uh, I just had a corner and he dashboarded so uh, I think maybe he'd had enough I feel like he dashboarded and wasn't disconnected but this is the next game we go into. Uh, not quite as good as the team as the last guy had, but still uh, I need to be uh, wary because of some of those players. Uh, but Zlatan puts me 1-0 up. I think that was from a, a straight-up counter-attack. That guy was uh, having an opportunity down the other end, and I, I just literally run down the other end and go 1-0 up. And same again, 14 minutes on the clock, 7 minutes later, Zlatan gets another goal. We then get clean through with Ronaldinho here. Uh, I don't know why I didn't ball roll that left and then just finesse it into the back of the net. Uh, but that was, again, poor decision making from me. But we're 2-0 up, so it's all good. Uh, then Ronaldinho knocks it out wide to Mane or out wide to Firmino. Back into Mane, who's going to score the goal. Uh, and, yeah, I mean, I 
I'm kind of I'm using Mane and and Firmino as two wide cams, which like both of those players could be up front if they wanted to be. Like it's su it's almost such a waste that I'm uh, that I'm uh, I am not using all of my players to their full capability. But I've got so many good players in my club now. Um, even like Perisic and stuff. Thomas Muller Tots doesn't get a game. He doesn't even get on the reserves anymore. It's craziness. Tots Atal in red doesn't get onto my into my team. Uh, what has happened? Like the FIFA's gone crazy. I've got so many cool cards. But we do bring Neymar on because I mean, how can you not? I know I'm not starting him this week, but don't think I'm a strong enough personality to to leave him on the bench and never bring him on. Because I have to, man. It's Neymar. He's the he's literally like the the main focal point of this entire series this year. So uh, he's coming on in the second half just to to give a little bit of uh, agility and pace and, and, and ability late on in the game. Uh, I think he might do quite good as a sub. Uh, but we go 5-1 up and he quits there. Uh, or no, I don't think he does quit. He pauses it as if he was going to quit. And then I think he realized it was the 87th minute. There's no point. Might as well take your rank points, mate. Um, and we go on into the next game. Now, this is what I'm nervous about. Look at that squad. It's a really good squad. Uh, and this was a, a really good player. Uh, I could just tell straight off the get-go that this was not... This was one of those unfortunate ones. You know, you're 2-0. You could match literally any rubbish player on the game. Uh, and I just get accidentally matched up against this. And, yeah, I mean, after the first 20-odd minutes, I'd had hardly anything. Uh, it pretty much stayed like that. I noticed that the good players are really good at... Uh, constantly changing direction at the last minute like making you lunge into a tackle but then they've already changed direction by hitting like a drag back or just left stick dribbling and turning and stuff with with you know non-sprinting players but uh, I mean as you can see here I just get done again I did get an equalizer Zlatan did score but it just it, I'd almost like felt like it was 45th minute cheese uh, and this guy just he keeps turning he keeps wiggling and changing direction knocking it across I couldn't read him, man. It was very frustrating. Um, but, I mean, this this can showcase what Zlatan can do. Look at him holding off Ed Emiletau right now. Uh, and eventually it's going to lead to a lucky goal. But um, yeah, we made it happen. So it made it look a slightly less bad. Uh, but we did lose 3-2 there to a, a very good player. It's one man band. I don't know... Uh, if uh, if anyone knows who that is, but a hey, good player, I would say. Um, be careful if you come up against him, if you are, like me, a pretty average FIFA player. So, I think at this point, I decided that maybe we need to save this Ronaldinho for a few of the more tough games. Uh, so, for now, I'm just going to stick this Kaká in uh, and swap it so that Firmino now goes up front with Zlatan and uh, Kaká can go out wide. I can't imagine this Kaká is going to be anything that special. Uh, just looking at his stats, I, I just don't think he's going to be incredible. Uh, so, you know, we, you know, he's not going to be as good as Ronaldinho in moments, is he? But we go 1-0 up with Zlatan, so it's all good. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but this Lewandowski and Perisic combo was dangerous. And my Allison decided that no matter what, if they were going to shoot, uh, he was pretty much going to let it in. Apart from that one save right there. Uh, however, Zlatan knocks it out wide down to Mane. Who's going to skip past the defender. Knock it back to Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Look at that for a strike. I don't know if there's that many players that can do that. That's a real Zlatan goal for me. Like previous FIFAs, I used to power drive it past the goalkeepers. Uh, and once again, Perisic scores. He's obviously got a, a crazy shot on him as well. Uh, and Allison just, just cannot handle it. So uh, it's gone in off both posts. But uh, that makes it 2 all. But we're going to get a first half hat trick for that man from Sweden. The king, Zlatan Ibrahimovic. He's managed to do it. You know, we've had four shots. We've scored three goals. He's had three on target. He scored two goals. It's pretty pretty even that both our goalkeepers aren't really doing a whole bunch right now. Um, but then look at that. Like, Alisson palms it onto his own post. It comes back. Red Lewandowski, 99. Hits it in. Uh, so I just, I couldn't get away from this guy. I couldn't make it like 2-0, 3-0, whatever it was. I was always one goal ahead and then he kept getting back into it. But again, the shot power from Ibra there, man makes it 4-3 and then he's going to score a fifth goal in this game uh, with uh, the first one of these types of free kicks that I've actually scored and again I guess it's like the shot power and the wiggliness that the ball does it's gone in and uh, I, I I, mean I was going to watch the replay of that one because it's the first one of those goals I've scored I really wanted to see it back but of course my opponent pauses and rage quits in the meantime so uh, I don't actually get to see that one back. I don't get to watch it from cool angles or anything uh, which kind of sucks. But another 10 out of 10 game from Zlatan makes us 3-1. So at least 
you know, we, we went 2-1 and one there, went 2-0 and oh and then lost the game. If we'd have lost another one, it would have been a terrible start to the weekend league. I think if I can go on a little winning streak now for the next few games, um, which will actually be probably right now whilst you're watching this, my Saturday session, uh, hopefully that doesn't go too bad. I think last weekend I played loads on Friday and then had all of my games done up to 14 wins on Saturday night. It's not going to be the case this weekend. Uh it's just not, yeah. I, I, I'm not that ahead on videos, and uh, it, it's gonna, it's gonna be a little bit. It's gonna take a little longer than that. But Zlatan, man, he's got 11 goals and one assist in four games, 12 contributions, an average of three contributions per game. Just insane, absolutely insane. I love him. I, I love it. He's not. He's, you know, he's a little bit clunky. Obviously, he's got terrible balance, and he's, he's really tall. But he's like a powerhouse. He's got skills, and he knows how to finish. I just love him. I'm so happy to be using it. I've got a massive smile on my face when I'm on the ball with him. So this is my free ultimate pack. I end up getting a future stars player. Uh, and it's going to be an Argentine centre mid from Bayer Leverkusen. So unfortunately not the not the greatest. But um, hey, I'll take a free 89 rated Palacios. That's a good little, good little card. Club 80. Um, I've, I've actually wanted to use this guy a few times. And now I'm going to probably use him in an SPC. Uh, yeah, I, I don't see someone like that maybe getting into my squad. Unless unless I do decide to do the Mbabu objectives and he helps somehow. I don't know if he would or wouldn't. I think I'd, like, I, I've got other great buy-in players that I could use for that. Um, but yeah, like that was my ultimate pack right there. A couple of special items, an 89 and an 86, I think. Everything else was kind of like, eh, not, not too great, but uh, we'll take it for a free loyalty pack just for playing the game and, and logging in all the time. Uh, and if you haven't done so already, make sure you're logging in every day because you're getting another loyalty pack in the next couple of weeks or whatever it is, I don't know, in the next month maybe. Um, log in, get your loyalty packs. Do it every day, you'll get an ultimate pack. It's great. So there's the Ribery SPC, as you just saw there. It's quite expensive. 85, 86, 86, 88. Like 600 plus thousand coins. I reckon I could do a lot of it with my fodder. But I'm going to wait until... Um, I mean, like tonight we'll find out whether or not Usman Dembele won the vote. If he did or if St. Maximin wins and uh, either of them have a great card, uh, I might decide to go down the route of doing them. But other than that, I yeah, I don't know. Like, we... <laughs> I, I, I could do that, Ribery. I think I could do it. I, I mean, I've got 900k. Of course, I could do it. Um, but I'm also still sitting and debating whether or not to get Zidane in. So maybe there's a there's a point where my team changes a little bit and we move down the French option a little bit. Because we've got Mendy. I might buy Zidane. I might do Dembele. I might do Ribery. And we might end up having quite a lot of French players in there. I've gotten Dombele. Uh, so we'll see what happens. But I don't know if or when that will happen. And if maybe that will just be like a next weekend thing. But right now, his left hand's going nowhere. He's got to stay in the team, man. He's a beast. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you got in your ultimate packs or your rare mega packs or whatever you got for logging in if you are still a loyal player of this game. Uh, and of course, don't forget to hit me with a thumbs up button. I'm looking for 2,500 likes on this Saturday. And I think you can help me out with that. Subscribe if you're new around here. Thank you very much for doing that. And of course, my social media links down below in the description. Twitter, Instagram, they're down there. Come follow me. Uh, have a great day, everyone. Take it easy. Stay safe and healthy and all of that good stuff. Uh, and I'll catch you tomorrow. Peace.